Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Sax Academy and today's lesson we've got a five minute warm up which is also going to teach you all 12 of your major scales. So before we jump into it, you can get the free PDF that accompanies today's lesson and that's available at onlinesaxacademy.com and the link to that is just down below. What I've put together here is a five minute warm up that you can use at the start of each practice session. And this is gonna warm up your saxophone, get your fingers moving really efficiently and smoothly. And you're also gonna end up learning all of your 12 major scales. Now we're gonna be learning these scales in a special order. Quite often when we're learning things in all 12 keys, you may have been introduced to the concept of the circle of fifths. Now this is an incredibly useful way to organize your keys. So we start at 12 o'clock at C major and each step around the clock face, we're adding on one sharp when we go clockwise. And when we go anti-clockwise, we're adding on one flat. But what we're gonna do here is almost take like slices of this circle of fifths. So we have one sharp, one flat, then two sharps, two flats, three sharps, three flats, etc. moving our way all the way down to the bottom where we end up with six sharps. Now, interestingly, that scale at the bottom, F sharp major, is exactly the same notes as G flat major. And that's because F sharp is the same note as G flat. It's just two different ways of saying it. Now, because this is a warm up, it isn't about moving your fingers really fast and trying to play each scale as quick as you can. But instead, it's just a way to walk you through all 12 keys within just five minutes. So what we're doing is going up and down each scale for one octave. Now, because we're starting at the top of that cycle of fifths on C major, and we're gradually making our way down, having more and more sharps and more and more flats, you'll probably notice that the scales feel more and more unfamiliar until we get to kind of like the dark side of the cycle of fifths, where you've got these four, five and six sharps and flats. So you may find as a beginner player, you just want to focus on the first half of this warm up, say getting down to three sharps and three flats. And as you start to feel more confident, you can gradually start to go further and further into completing this five minute warm up. Now I was playing these scales in a slurred way, meaning I'm not tonguing each individual note, but I'm blowing constantly and moving my fingers to join it all together. Now this is really useful if you want to hear any inaccuracies in your fingering, because if you don't move your fingers all at once and land together, you'll hear other little micronotes popping out. Another reason why I like to slur as well is it's good for strengthening your embouchure as you're having to keep that set as you go up and down continuously. But of course you can also try doing this warm up, tonguing the notes as well. Now if you'd like to know more about what a major scale is and how it's created, then you can head to the Practical Music Theory course at onlinesaxacademy.com. And the first lesson of that course, all about the major scale is available to watch for free. Now we've done the demonstration of this warm up on the alto sax. So if you're a tenor sax player or a soprano sax player, over in the free library, you can download a backing track which has been transposed into your key. Meaning that you can read off the PDF starting in C major and you'll have the backing track to accompany you so it matches your key. Now, even if you're someone that's pretty confident with your major scales, it's quite nice to take these scales really slowly and start to pay attention to other things like your tuning, how your fingers are moving, keeping a nice even tone and good solid breath support. All these other factors other than just the note names will help create a really nice sound. And you'll find that will start to transfer across into your playing of melodies and tunes and improvising. All right, so here's this major scale warm up.
Now, don't forget to head over to onlinesaxacademy.com to get your free PDF. And if you're a tenor player, you can get your free backing track that's transposed into the other key. Over there, you'll see I'm currently building a how to improvise course. We also have the practical music theory course, and there's also an ear training course as well, where you'll learn to identify notes and melodies by ear. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, and I'll see you next week.